And the next problem is our brakes. We still got to get uh, wheels back here I like. These are old style, late star hub wheels. I want to run modern wheels, so I'm over here playing around trying to figure out how to make this stuff work. So this is your standard soft tail 2005 rear wheel here. These are different style brake drums, front brake drums here, but same bolt patterns. So we have the 67 style, the 71 that has the ball bearing, and this is a star hub style. And this here is a star hub right here. So these bolt on right here. This one fits pretty close. All I do is know it and bore out the hole a little bit, about an eighth of an inch, and it'll fit right on. But the problem is the bolt holes are about half a hole off. Kind of hard to see in there, but anyway, they're about half a hole off. So with these, I can with these nice solid style ones here, I can just move the hole over and put a new hole in there and be fine. But uh, that's okay if I'm going to use front brake drums. But I was kind of looking like something doing something different. The rear drums here. Here's the two styles of these again. The ball bearing, the Star Hub style. The problem with these is is the bolt pattern's still off, but these you can't move your holes over because you got these lugs right here. These are our dowels, so not quite sure how I'm going to work around this. So I was looking at some billet hub stuff, but I don't think it's going to work very well for the one I'm trying to do. For some reason, it looks like maybe they didn't want you to bolt drums on these disc brake wheels. I don't know why, but we're working around that. Now the other thing I'm playing with is I want to do a I want to do a twin brake, so instead of running a, just a single drum like right here, I was thinking about running a twin drum brake, which I was going to do, but this bike's going to be a little bit faster than the one, this other pan had, 57. This is going to be at least a 100 inch motor, it might be up to 130 inch motor. Still be a pan head though. But the, uh, so I need more stopping power. So what I'm looking at is doing something a little different. So this is your basic late model Sportster 2000 and something, 3, 4, whatever the hell they are, 5. It's a 1 inch axle, it's a dual disc, dual bolt pattern, mid glide width. So this is a stock star hub width here, see how much wider it is. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking a, a 10 inch brake rotor. This is made for your 77 to 83 bike. And the bolt holes line up, and then I can go ahead and cut this a little deeper right here. You know, sink it down up to a half inch at least, and then I can go ahead and recess this around, and it'll be—I'll have the correct register for the rotor here. My light doesn't like being on or off here, so that would put this here and have a dual disc setup on this. And then to hide the fact that you have disc brakes on a drum brake bike. We have a backing plate here, which is what the brake looks like when they're assembled. So we got lots of parts laying around. So here's my twin brake setup. See, so we got left and right. So they're mirror image of each other. So two different ears. So here's what the brake looks like. If I can get it out, there it goes. So this is our brake shoe arrangement. So this is what we're eliminating. These didn't work all that good. If you put two of them together, it still wouldn't work all that good, but it would be better than one not that good. So with this set up here, I'll go ahead and take this backing plate that I've got all the stuff out of it. It's a nice good one here too, broken. I could probably take these and cut off about three quarters of this away. And then put this on here, and it makes it look like a It'll look like a drum brake, but there's a disc rotor right back here. And then you know, I'll cut it away like this is here, and then I'll put a brake rotor in, or a brake caliper inside of here and make it work. So here's our fork leg right here. This is an FLT fork leg. And I'm going to have to make the brake caliper mount fit up inside of this. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use for brake calipers yet. I want something small. I don't want PM stuff because it's looks like PM. I want something that you can't really see. 
So I'm thinking about maybe that's 2005 Sportster, a uh, little small flat triangle looking for piston caliper. But I don't know if there's going to be room to get all that in here because the spokes will be up through here. I'm going to run 18 inch wheel, so it's going to be kind of tight for everything. But, uh, but anyway, that's what I want to do. Like I said, I'll just basically run this on both sides and uh, run it through axle, bolt it all together. So, not sure exactly how I'm going to do it, but uh, that's kind of what I'm leaning toward is this. I think it'll give me the look I want. And here. So you'll get the you know the brake drum in there from this side and the same from the other side. So you won't know there's two drums there unless you look closely. So but you have a lot of stopping power with the twin discs. So when I run my 140 mile an hour with the bike I can slow it down. And uh, it shouldn't be a problem. So anyway, that's the project we're on. Been working on this uh, four or five days now off and on. So this is what we're up to right now. So anyway, the customers thought you might like this, and uh, so this is what we're playing with. So, so there's a Panhead Evo motor, and this is uh, an Evo left case over here. It's a '97 uh, Evo left case. And as you can tell, it bolts right up to that uh, 53 panhead right case over there I got it to. All I got to do is uh, weld up the four bolt holes in here for the cylinder base studs and switch it over to a shovel head panhead bolt pattern and get all bolts together. Stick an Evo crank in there or a shovel head crank in it. And, or like I'm going to do a racing big bore or big stroker crank. I got a nice five and a quarter inch set of wheels up front. I got some five inch ones too. So. You put that on top of a big board top end, you can have some serious inches. So, in the meantime, we got a five speed transmission to take the power, so that's the best of both worlds. So, and on this side of the bike, it's all panhead, just like it should be. So, anyway, that's where we're at. So, down the road, I'll show you some more pictures probably.